Hey everyone, this is Grubby with the Sony Xperia vlog number two. And now I'd like to talk to you guys a little bit about my experiences at the MLG Summer Championships. I'm gonna do it a little bit like I haven't done it before a vlog. I wrote down some topics which I wanna talk about. Some are really silly, some are quite meaningful and deep. And I'm gonna pick randomly which one I'm gonna start with so that you never know what you're gonna get. I wrote down the list here. I'm gonna pick my first topic and then talk about whatever I have. My performance at the MLG Summer Championship. I was in a bracket with uh, Rain and then I played, uh, I played STC and then Heart. For me that was a little bit of a shocker because uh, I was going into the MLG Summer Championship just saying, please, no PVT. Like I felt pretty good in PVT, felt pretty good in PVP, but not in PVT. Now, of course, that's, you can't go into a tournament like that, but uh, I have been having some problems in PVT already, uh, which I was trying to uh, fix as quickly as possible. Sometimes band-aid solutions, sometimes trying to increase my fundamental understanding of PVT, but even so, I, yeah, I didn't manage. I managed to beat Rain and uh, lost to STC and to Heart, unfortunately. So this put me into championship loser bracket round two where I managed to defeat Gozu User, and that was pretty cool because I did some in-house practice with Team Complexity and I had pretty good win rate against everyone, but I did lose to Gozu User twice. Um, and I learned quite a bit from that, so when we played again, it went a lot better. Now for Sheth, it was the other way around. Like, against Sheth, I've been practicing, been winning quite a lot, but in the real match, he played better, he learned more from it, and he, uh, he beat me back, so... Uh, I always like playing against Chet whether I win or lose. I told him before and I'll tell him after. I of course wasn't happy to be eliminated from the tournament, but at that point when you're in championship losers, it's not so much anymore about uh, winning one round, because it's like a very long round, right? So if, if it's fated for you to go far and like to do well and get top eight or whatever, like it's fated. But uh, at that point you just have to really take satisfaction match by match. And uh, yeah, he beat me, I, I learned from it, he showed me some flaws in my play and uh, for that I'm grateful, thanks and hope to play you again soon, Chef. Next topic. Uh, I actually did a, a signing session at, uh, uh, for, for the Sony Mobile booth on Friday at 6pm. A lot of people came, it was pretty cool, uh, because when I came into the MLG it was kind of not that crowded. Uh, a lot of people came and I feel like I was kind of sluggish that day uh, on Friday because of jet lag and everything and I wasn't that confident uh, for my match against Rain but a lot of people came and they're like good luck and we hope you're gonna win and you're gonna win right and someone is like oh, you're gonna use side storm so I was like all right yeah sure I gotta do it for you guys and I feel like that kind of contributed to me uh, uh, doing well in that match I also had the main stage match uh, so Thanks everyone who came with your good cheer and who was there with me, joking and taking pictures, uh, doing the autographs with me. Uh, thanks. Next topic. This is not a topic, so move on to the next. Oh, you grubby, you trolling yourself. Unbelievable. Right, next one. Yeah, uh, my PVZ matchup at that tournament. I thought I was pretty good at it, but. I have to revise my opinion. I was pretty good at one strategy only with the same starting and the same end. And as such, it became a little bit too predictable. So that's one of the goals that I'll be focusing on in the future to try and uh, be a little bit less predictable. Of course, I know these things, I know, but sometimes I get so purist about one strategy that I would like to say, just like Zerg, I would like to do the same thing over and over. And if I just do it really well, uh, it'll work. But that's not quite how it works for uh, for me or for Protoss or maybe even for Zergs they do things. Uh, but yeah, I, I need to diversify a little bit more. Ah, I was cheating, I was looking, no, I wasn't really looking. Um, ate at the Cheesecake Factory, uh, I think it was on Monday. It's uh, one of my favorite restaurants, Chains. It's not like the best restaurant I've been to in the US. So, like I've been to some really good restaurants which people took me to. But that's one of the, my favorite uh, chains because uh, they have really big portions. I like to eat a lot and they got pretty nice food. I mean, yeah, it's uh, Americanized even when it's Asian, but it's really, uh, I think they have some nice dishes. 
And also, I have some good memory staying, so that's nice. I told you not every topic will be uh, in your flooring. Uh, oh yeah, the WCS NA was being held at the same venue as the uh, MLG. And I think it's important to note that we should not only complain when the schedules are messed up, because last time there was a lot of complaints from players, legitimate complaints, about the two events, uh, WCS uh, USA and MLG running together with the schedules really getting quite messed up. This time I think they did a lot better. On Friday they started very early with the WCS NA and then they went on to MLG events and at least from an outsider point of view the schedules looked way uh, better, more well organized. So uh, yeah, I think good job and in the end Scarlett won, uh, she also won Canada and Vibe got second who won uh, USA. So uh, pretty consistent performances by them. Sorry, uh, I'm getting a call on my Sony Mobile Xperia Ion. Hold a second, guys. Hello. Oh, hi, Sony. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I can do a name drop of Sony in the commercial. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do a name drop in this vlog. No problem. I find a smooth moment for it where it doesn't really jar too much with the rest of the vlog. Okay. Okay. Bye bye. No, you. Okay, you hang out. Okay, bye bye. Ah, oh, that's nice. Uh, sorry about that. Next topic. Uh, only one MLG Championship left to impress at. MLG Fall Championships. So rest assured that I'm gonna do my very best as I can to get a full preparation for that going. Maybe something special like uh, go to Korea for a while or maybe have like a special training plan for myself but so far I don't feel like I really break through uh, at an MLG and I would like to write a lot so uh, just one left <laughs> it's kind of starting to uh, matter like the year's ending and I still want to make uh, a big mark uh, well I have a lot of random ones I'll just uh, go down the list now to finish up the last topics I wanted to talk about uh, got to hang out a bit with Chef, it was fun we uh, went to dinner together, Typhoon Bistro uh, it was cool, I had a long walk and uh, got to know him a little bit better and found out some stuff about it. Just send me a DM on Twitter if you want to find out. Um, NA Players, I think, was a pretty successful event for NA Players. There were a lot of Koreans, it, it wasn't like it was only B rated Koreans, certainly not, there were very good Koreans. But I feel like the NA Players did quite well. Trimaster beating Marine King, Idra's resurgence a little bit. Uh, we had a Sasquatch as the uh, only American finishing in the money since how many MLGs? Uh, pretty good. Hawk, he beat uh, Luzira, didn't he? And yeah, pretty good. Hydra beating first, so there were some pretty good results. Still isolated, a little bit like my own, but it's, it's better than we have seen so far. So I think even the NA scene is uh, picking up a little bit, which should give some bolstering hope to foreigners around the world. Um, well, I'm going to Korea soon, in fact I'm going to Korea today, because this is being recorded on the 1st of September. I'm going to do some casting for the OSL and also in between I will have a lot of time to practice, so uh, yeah, I hope that's going to be very useful for my uh, playing level to do some practice in Korea. I yeah, need to work a little bit more on my PVT strength, but I think Korea is ideal for that. They got a lot of strong Terrans, and in fact, I would almost say playing Terrans in Korea is a completely different matchup. Like things that work here don't always necessarily work. You've got some really good Terrans here, like Thorzen and Kass, and some American Terrans, and probably some others that I don't necessarily uh, remember. Probably BC Beauty is quite good now, but I haven't played him for a while. Uh, but I think especially my PVT can benefit a lot from that, so let's see. Well, that was it. Thank you very much for watching this vlog. I'm through all the topics and uh, stay tuned for Sony vlog number three. See you guys later. I'm off to Korea.